Welcome, to ViewChem, the Chemistry Animations Channel. Optical Isomerism Prior to the explanation, about the optical isomerism, please understand, the concepts of, chiral carbon, and, plane polarized light. Chiral carbon, or, asymmetric carbon. If, a carbon atom, bonds to, four different atoms, or, groups of atoms, then, such carbon atom is called as, chiral carbon, or, asymmetric carbon. To identify, the chiral carbon, an asterisk is placed, on it. Ordinary light, is an, electromagnetic radiation. Electromagnetic radiation is a wave, having certain amount of energy which is propagated through free space, or through a material medium. During the propagation of the electromagnetic wave, both electric, and magnetic fields, are spread perpendicular to each other, along the direction of wave propagation. Ordinary light, vibrates, in infinite number of planes, those pass through. The direction of propagation. This type of ordinary light is, unpolarized light. Unpolarized light, when passed through, Nicole Prism gets converted to, plane polarized light. In plane polarized light, the vibrations will be, only in, one plane. Nicole prism functions as, polarizer. Nicole prism consists of, a specific crystalline form of, calcium carbonate, called as, calcite. Source of light. Ordinary light. Polarizer, ordinary light, on passing through, polarizer, converts to, monochromatic light. Monochromatic light. Vibrating, only in one plane. Please note that, light of, only one wavelength, is called, monochromatic light. Monochromatic light, when passes through, a solution of, chiral compound may be deflected, to right-hand side, or, left-hand side. Monochromatic light, passing through the solution of, chiral compound, gets deflected. The angle of deflection, can be read, with analyzer. Alternatively, we can observe, the rotation of, plane polarized light, in the opposite direction. This instrumental setup, is called, polarimeter, useful to measure, the optical rotation, of chiral compounds. The observed rotation, of a particular compound, in the polarimeter, is not a constant value. Observed rotation depends upon, concentration of the compound, length of the tube, in which compound is placed, temperature, solvent, and, wavelength of the light. Specific rotation, can be defined as, the rotation of the monochromatic light, when, passes through, a solution of, chiral compound, in a tube of, 1 decimeter length, and, the concentration of the solution is, 1 gram of the compound, dissolved in, 1 milliliter of the solvent, at constant temperature, and, wavelength. Specific rotation, can be calculated by using, the following formula. where d is the temperature lambda is the wavelength of the monochromatic radiation alpha is the angle of rotation c is the concentration of the solution 
for pure liquids, density should be considered. L is the length of the tube. In anchomers, the chiral compound, that rotates, plain polarized light, towards right-hand side, is called, dextro-rotatory compound, while, the one, that rotates, to the, left-hand side, is levorotatory. Please note that, plus, and, minus, do not indicate, addition, and, subtraction, they indicate, only rotations, in the opposite directions. It is very important, to note that, D, and, L, lowercase, refer to, optical rotation, while, D, and, L, uppercase, denote, relative configuration. Dextro-rotatory, and, levorotatory, molecules of, same compound, are enantiomers. Please note that, enantiomers, are, non-superimposable mirror images. Chirality, is a property, of a molecule, due to which, it can form, a, non-superimposable, mirror image. Dextro-rotatory isomer Levorotatory isomer Please observe, levorotatory isomer, is not, superimposable on, dextro-rotatory isomer. So, these two molecules are, enon shimmers. It is very important, to note that, equimolar mixture of, D, and, L compounds, is called, racemic mixture. The optical rotation of, racemic mixture is, zero. Separation of, racemic mixture is called, resolution. Diastereoisomers, to understand, the concept of, diastereoisomers, please observe, the following molecules. Molecule 1, and, 2, are non-superimposable mirror images. So, these are, enantiomers, that is, non-superimposable, mirror images. Similarly, molecule 3, and, 4, are also, non-superimposable mirror images. Hence, these are also, enantiomers. But, molecule 1, and, 3, are, non-superimposable, and, non-mirror images. Similarly, molecule 2, and, 4, are also, non-superimposable, and, non-mirror images. So, molecule 1, and, 3, and, molecule 2, and, 4, are, diastereoisomers, that is, non-superimposable non-mirror images. Another sets of, diastereoisomers are, molecules, 1, and, 4, and, molecules, 2, and, 3. So, diastereoisomers are, the compounds, having the same molecular formula, but are, non-superimposable and, non-mirror images. Comparison between, enantiomers, and, diastereoisomers. Both enantiomers, will have, same molecular formula. Diastereoisomers also, have, same molecular formula. Enantiomers are, non-superimposable, mirror images. Diastereoisomers are, non-superimposable, and, non-mirror images. Enantiomers have, same properties, except, in the direction of, rotation of, plane polarized light. 
diastereoisomers have different properties. Enantiomers are optically active. All diastereoisomers are not optically active. Enantiomers can have either one or more chiral carbons. Diastereomers will have at least two chiral carbons. Enantiomers will have same shape. Diastereomers will have different shapes. Enantiomers are present in pairs. Diastereoisomers can be many molecules. Example, lactic acid. Example, tartaric acid. Symmetry. If a molecule can be divided into exactly two equal halves, then it is said to have symmetry. An action called symmetry operation, when carried out on a molecule, generates the same structure. Symmetry operations include rotation and reflection. It should be understood that either a point or an axis or a plane that is involved in the symmetry operation is called symmetry element. Please note that once symmetry operation is carried out, the configuration of the resulting molecule will be indistinguishable from the starting molecule. Both are superimposable. The following are the elements of symmetry. Simple or proper axis of symmetry. Plane of symmetry. Center of symmetry. And alternating axis of symmetry. Simple or proper axis of symmetry. A molecule is said to have simple or proper axis of symmetry when the molecule is rotated by magnitude of 360 degrees divided by n through an imaginary axis, which results in the formation of an indistinguishable structure when compared to the original molecule. For example, when chloroform is rotated by 120 degrees, that is, 360 degrees divided by 3, through an imaginary axis, forms an equivalent structure to the original. So, chloroform has threefold axis of symmetry, that is, n equals 3. Chloroform looks as follows through the imaginary axis, that is, from the top. Carbon and chlorine are represented with black and red color circles, respectively. Rotation by 120 degrees results equivalent structure. Thus, chloroform has threefold axis of symmetry. Plane of symmetry. It is an imaginary plane when passes through the middle of the molecule, if divides into two equal halves, which are the mirror images of each other, then, that imaginary plane, is called as, plane of symmetry, and, the molecule is said to has, plane of symmetry. Please observe, the other two isomers of, tartaric acid, do not have, plane of symmetry, because, in both the isomers, when the imaginary plane cuts the molecule, upper half of the molecule, is not the mirror image of the lower half of the molecule. Center of symmetry, or point of symmetry, or inversion center. A molecule is said to have center of symmetry if, in a molecule, 
through the center point, when a straight line can be drawn, diametrically, from one atom, to, other identical atom, where, both the atoms, are at equal distance, from the center point. Please observe, cyclobutane derivative shown, through, the center point. An imaginary line can be drawn, between the identical atoms, or, groups of atoms. So, this cyclobutane derivative, has, center of symmetry. Staggered form of, ethane. Also has, center of symmetry. Alternating axis of symmetry, or, rotation reflection axis of, symmetry. It is an axis, about which, when a molecule is rotated, by magnitude of, 360 degrees divided by n, and, the resulting structure, when reflected, in a perpendicular plane, to the axis, if generates, an indistinguishable structure, when compared to the, original molecule, then, that molecule is said to has, alternating axis of symmetry. Let us consider, a cyclobutane derivative. This molecule, on rotation by, 180 degrees, that is, n equals 2, generates, a new structure. The mirror image of the new structure is indistinguishable with the original molecule. So, the starting molecule is said to has alternating axis of symmetry. It is very important to note that if a molecule has any element of symmetry except simple or proper axis of symmetry, then that molecule is not optically active, though, it may contain, chiral carbons. Because of the, possession of, either, one, or, more elements of symmetry, among, plane of symmetry, or, center of symmetry, or, alternating axis of symmetry, by molecule, a superimposable mirror image, can be formed. If, a molecule forms, superimposable mirror image, it is not, optically active. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.